So, um, I feel like I need to get this off my chest before um, I start reviewing the shape of water. And that's, um, guys, it's a Guillermo del Toro film about a scaly fish creature who develops a relationship with a mute woman. It's a weird film, like, it's got a fantasy premise, it's a bit odd, and I kind of feel kind of a fair amount of the um, things that I've heard potentially in criticism of the film, uh, maybe they weren't expecting it to be what it is. So just bear that in mind. Um, on with what I actually want to say about the film. I can massively see why this has been nominated for so many Oscars. Um, the film is absolutely beautiful. Like it's incredibly well shot. Um, it's, you know, the premise is, well, it's a fantasy story. So it's in some places a bit odd. Um, and again, it's shot by a director who kind of makes sometimes quite kind of visually stunning, but kind of narratively kind of off the beaten track stylistic choices so therefore some of the scenes and some of the bits that happen in it are a bit weird and you're gonna just probably just gonna have to go along with it like go okay right that don't understand that bit but just keep with the story if you can do that i think you'll really love it honestly it's got a really beautiful soundtrack and the performances from the actors are incredible sally hawkins is brilliant um Octavia Spencer is really good, Richard Jenkins is brilliant. I feel incredibly sorry for Michael Shannon who um, is the only one of that quartet not to have been nominated for an Oscar and he massively should have been. Um, it's a emotion, it's fairly gripping, it's well written, it's, there's, there's so much good stuff about it. I think there's one thing that would maybe make me think that it's probably not going to win best film at the Oscars and potentially the thing that kind of seems to let it down is that it the whole film the first hour and a half happens at one pace and then the last half an hour happens at a completely different pace almost like it's been fast forwarded and it's a bit like they kind of rush it and it makes it feel like the conclusion of the film having been kind of well put together just feels a little bit flat and a little bit like oh well like as in there was something a little bit missing other than that though, like if the most I'd spend on this tin at the market it was £10, probably spend £8.50 on this and be pretty chuffed. So yeah, give it a go.